Okay, welcome back to Mr. Hassan's Maths Channel. Um, I'm now answering a question number six from the um, C4 Pol Solomon F collection, which is also question number seven from my P4 Endotopic Worksheet Integration 2. Um, this first question actually is something um, related to P3 now because uh, some of the integration from the old C4 has now been moved into the P3 paper. So this is actually something which would or may appear in P3 and also sometimes in P4. So I will save this part of the question, 6a and I think part b as well, under the P3 integration as well as P4. So first of all, find the integral of tan squared x dx. Now, one of the results that we know um, in integration is that the um, integral of sec squared x dx is equal to tan x plus c. That's one of the results that you find in the formula table, formula book. Okay, you might find it the other way around where they tell you that the differential of tan x is sec squared x, which of course means the reverse is, is true as well. So now, we don't have an integral for tan squared x directly given to us. Okay, so what we can do is we can use the identity that we know, um, which involves san, sec squared x and tan squared x, which is derived from our original identity, which everyone should know, sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. And also the, the other identity, which is tan theta, is equal to sine theta over cosine theta. If we can kind of combine these two together, I want to end up with tan squared x. So I'm going to divide this by cosine squared theta. And I'll divide this by cosine squared theta. And I'll divide this by cosine squared theta. Divide both sides of the equation by cosine squared theta. Basically, I'm left with tan squared theta plus 1 equals secant squared theta. So I can say that tan squared theta is the same as secant squared theta minus 1. Okay, so I can replace the tan squared theta with secant squared theta minus 1. Simple as that. All right. So now what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to just replace this with secant squared theta minus 1. And I'm going to integrate that with respect to x. It's an indefinite integral, so I have to put plus c at the end. Now we know the integral of sec squared theta, as we just mentioned. Well, this is x now. Put x. So tan squared x is sec squared x minus 1. And we know the integral of sec squared x is tan x, so we have tan x minus, and the integral of 1 with respect to x is x plus c. And there's the answer. Simple as that. 6 part a, simple as that. Okay, so um, that's the question 6a, integral of tan squared x. We don't know how to integrate tan squared x, but we do know how to integrate sec squared x. So we can just use this identity to express tan squared x in terms of sec squared x, and then integrate this x squared x, and we got our answer. Now we're going to go on to 6 part b, where it tells us to show that tan x, the integral of tan x dx is equal to the lin of sec x plus c. Now this is actually given to us in the formula, formula sheet, but here we have to show how we get it. Right. So what we're going to do here, we're going to express tan x in terms of, well, as I mentioned there, the identity. Tan theta is sine theta over cosine theta, so I'll express this as sine theta or sine x over cosine x, and I want to integrate that with respect to x. And now, what we have here is actually um, something we're going to use the reverse of the chain rule, okay? Because I know that um, if I integrate um, sine x over cosine x, if I integrate something which is in the form of the integral of something over the original function, if I integrate something like that, I'm going to have the lin of the original function, of the modulus of the original function, okay, and it will give me something of that form. Okay, then I have to divide the I have to divide it by the differential of what's inside the function, which cancels out with that. So this is the same kind of thing, because we know when we differentiate cosine x we get something of the form of sine x. Okay, so this is kind of like of that form. The integral of cosine the differential of sine cosine x is sine x. So I can write this as, I'll just, this is the way I like to do it, sine x times the lin of 
the modulus of cosine x, but then I have to divide by the differential of what's inside the function, which is minus sine x, and I've got plus c. Now the minus sine x cancels with the sine x, so I'm left with minus lin of the modulus of cosine x plus c. Now how do we en <coughs> end up with secant, secant x here? Because you've got the minus 1 here, so we can use the power law. So we can say this is like the lin of cosine x to the power of minus 1 plus c. Now this doesn't mean the inverse cosine, this means cosine x to the power of minus 1, i.e. it's reciprocal. So this is the same as the lin of the modulus of 1 over cosine x plus c. And we know 1 over cosine x is its reciprocal function secant x. The reciprocal of cosine is, is secant, so this is the same as the lin of secant x plus c. And that's what we had to prove. So that's how we prove this using the basically the reverse of the chain rule again. Um, in this case, the reverse of the chain rule, so uh, we can recognize this of that form. So we can write this as sine x times the lin of cosine x, then divide by the differential of what's inside the function, which is cosine x, the differential of cosine x is minus sine x. Cancel out, you're left with minus, and then you can continue. So this these questions A and B are both actually, um, you know, now in P3, in the new P3. They would be just before purely in, P, in C4, now they're in the new uh, C3. So what I'll do is I'll also save these, this part A and B, in one separate video and I'll put it under P3 integration as well as P4 integration and I will do part C in a separate video because that's just related to the new P4. So um, thank you for watching. Other questions from this particular paper including part C of this question should be found in the playlist that you will find in this, um, in this uh, area over here. Okay so that will be for the Solomon F paper question number six. And from the end of topic worksheet, integration two, you'll find this question also here and, and other questions from the same worksheet here, including part B as well. And I will in save this under P3 integration in this playlist and P4 integration in this playlist over there. Thank you for watching and see you soon.